Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. My name is Michael. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks onto your Kobo Aura HD. As you can see our full reviews here. We're going to show you a few programs. Adobe Digital Editions, which is perfect for books purchased from other websites that have digital rights management or encryption. We're going to show you how to use Caliber, which is a fairly solid program that allows you to not only convert ebooks from one format to another, but also change the cover and really change all aspects of the book. And then I'll show you how to use Dropbox and how to access that with your Aura's web browser in order to basically have your own personal cloud storage locker. First program I'm going to show you today is Caliber. Caliber is a free program. You can simply Google it, but attached to our post here on goodyreader.com, we will include a free link to it. If you want to import a book onto your stage, you can just click open book and then browse around for whatever book that you want to add. As you can see, we have one already here. It has the cover art. It's available in both EPUB and Mobi format. And one of the nice things about Caliber is that if you edit the metadata, you can actually change the author name, the title name, ISBN, all this, all this stuff. When you download a lot of free books from the internet, Project Gutenberg, or even a Smashwords, and a lot of other sites, uh, they're, they don't have digital rights management, so it gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to augment the way that the book looks. If you download other books, you may find the book uploader's name might be in the title or the author and title name or even the series will be in the title. And once you start accumulating a large number of ebooks on your device, it can get convoluted fairly quickly. So you want to change the title and the author name and then the sort and title sort. Now the title sort and author sort appear automatically once you change this. And then you can press these two buttons to change whatever you change here. So when I look for author name on my Kobo Aura, it's Ephra Fox would be the, the one that you could search for. As you can see here, cover R2 in a lot of cases, you may download books from the internet or you may want to put in your own covers and you could search through Google, Amazon and open library for different types of book covers. One of the other things I like about Caliber is the ability to convert ebooks from one format to another, which is convert ebooks, convert ebooks individually. As you can see here on, on the first page, there's a lot of options here. We're not going to be too concerned with those. What we are concerned about is output format. Now, it is EPUB by default, but look at all the great formats you can change it to text, lit, R LRF, HTML, FP2 and Mobi and AZW are Amazon friendly formats. So if you download a lot of EPUBs and EPUBs are the most popular format on internet next to PDFs because it's the format in which almost all e-readers use in order to display books. The only company to buckle that trend is Amazon and you could pretty well find books in Mobi or AZW or you could just use Calibre to convert books that you've downloaded to your particular format. Uh, a lot of tools here, mainly these are great for authors to be able to format their books correctly. If you're just simply converting ebooks from one format to another or just loading them on your device, you don't have to be too concerned with this. So we have the book here on our stage and we've, you know, verified that the cover is looking good, the author is looking good, and we want to send it to our device. Now there's two ways that we can do it. One is we can just right click, send to device, and then send to the device's main memory. And it is copy the book to our e-reader. Now if we click on device, you can actually see the books here as well. Now let's say that you wanted to, you know that the books may, maybe you have are already all formatted correctly, so you don't really have to convert it from one format to another or change cover art or anything. So what you could do is just click on device and then add books, browse your computer for one book or a hundred books and just add them to your device. And then inside of your Aura HD, you can create custom shelves, you can uh, create custom ways for authors to be sorted. So there's a lot of cool options uh, that Kobo gives you in conjunction with Caliber, especially when it comes to managing your collections. So that's Caliber.
Adobe Digital Editions is also a free download. The big hyping factor behind this program is that if you purchase ebooks from other companies, say you do business with Barnes and Noble, or maybe you're a deal hunter and you buy a lot of ebooks from uh, a, a wide array of different companies, and so Adobe Digital Editions allows you to easily copy purchased books and also library books that you'll download uh, from say you do a business with Baker and Taylor with their Access 360 or maybe 3M or perhaps Overdrive. This is a great way for you to be able to copy your ebooks to your e-reader. So again, we have our Kobo or HD plugged into our computer via the um, micro USB to USB cable. And if you click here, you can see a few of the books we have on our device. It's fairly easy to add books. You can just click add to library, browse our computer, select a book here, okay so this appeared under all items but you can just simply drag it and it copies it to your e-reader and you can see it here. Now, in some cases, it may ask you for credit card data or uh, a username and password if you has purchased books from specific retailers. Now, the only thing that you need to know is if you paid by credit card, then your username or password would be the credit card number that you used to make the purchase with the ebook. Only certain retailers do that, but it's something to bear in mind if you see something different from what we've shown you here. Lastly, Dropbox, it really needs no explaining. It's the premier cloud storage. It's totally free, it gives you a few gigs of uh, free space, and you can create folders and share access levels with your friends. But it's also the perfect way, to, if, especially if you have multiple devices, to be able to manage your ebook library within Dropbox and then be able to access that with any tablet or e-reader while on the go. The Kobo or HD does have a web browser, and this web browser allows you to type in um, web addresses, obviously. So what you can do is you could access Dropbox within the web browser of your Kobo Aura, and then once you have logged into your account, and again, it's free, you can browse it here, click on any book, the book would be automatically downloaded to your Kobo Aura, and then you'll be able, they would automatically be added to your main library. So if you've never used Dropbox before, it's just a, a few questions that they ask, email address, password, all that jazz, and then you're logged in. You can click upload once you see the menu here. Click choose files, choose a book, And it sort of automatically uploads. You don't really have to do very much. And now it's done. And now it's here. So we do have a few other books that we've used for other tutorials, just samples and things like that. So this has been a tutorial on three different programs that do three very different things that allow you to copy ebooks to your Kobo or HD. If you have any questions on this uh, video, uh, you can comment on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. And if you want to contribute your thoughts, we'll answer any questions you may have. And as well, if you do have a Playbook, BB10 device, or an Android uh, device, we do have the Goody Reader App Store. 16,000 apps and we add them every single day you can see we have a number of kind of cool apps uh, all free apps but we do have some developers that do sell apps through us here and all funds go right to the developer so this has been a goodie reader video tutorial on how to copy ebooks to your Kobo or HD for goodyreader.com my name is Michael and everybody take care